This video shows a rather high powered and advertised 43 amp H bridge connected to a DCC++ controller and that H bridge is being used to supply DCC power to two rather large loads. One of them is composed of two um, electric drill motors along with their chucks. The other one is a rather large uh, DC motor that I use for a lot of testing as an inductive load. In addition, there are two uh, DCC decoders, an 8 amp one here from a G-scale locomotive and another 8 amp one right over here, uh, again from a G-scale. What I'd like to do is to fire this up and give you an idea of how well it operates. Uh, there are only four wires connecting the H-bridge with the DCC++ controller. One of them goes to pin 3, which supplies power so that you can turn the power on and off from uh, JMRI. One of them goes to the PWM output, that's the yellow wire here, and it goes to a small one transistor circuit on the uh, perf board that supplies the proper PWM to the uh, H-bridge. And then there's ground, of course, and the blue wire is the current sensing because this does supply current sense that can be interpreted by the uh, DCC++ controller. Of course, the controller is connected by USB cable back to my computer, and I have two throttles running on uh, JMRI. What I'd like to do is bring up uh, one of these throttles. And right now I've got one of the motors running and you can see that I'm putting out about 18 volts and it's drawing about an amp. I'm going to bring the second motor online and again about 18 volts at 2 amps. And let's bring the third motor up. Now you can see that the, uh, the drill motor slowed down a little bit because the, the power supply is having a little trouble supplying as much current as I'm asking it to. Let's see if we can bring those up just a little bit more. Okay, we're up to almost 5 amps at about 18 volts. And the important thing is when I put my finger on that H-bridge, it's not even warm. I can put a uh, thermometer on there. It's about 85 degrees. Now, on the other hand, the uh, the heat sinks on the, the other controllers are well over 100. They're working a lot harder than that H-bridge is. So even though they claim 43 amps, which I sincerely doubt, for most of our purposes, this H-bridge uh, would be more than enough to run a layout.